What's happening, buddy? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. I get to check out one of the coolest domain names that I get to review the website with that domain name, and that's hem.com. I don't know how they got this domain name, but that's freaking awesome of a three-letter domain name. So checking out hem.com and how I check out all websites for these website critiques is I think about three things. One, how does it look? Two, how does it function? And three, how can we improve it? Looking at this site, the person who built this did tell me it was based upon a Gatsby and a couple other e-commerce background pieces. So I know it's already gonna run fast. If you watch my videos about Gatsby, you know I am a fanatic about the actual tool because it just makes websites load that much faster. What I like about this site overall is I love this big banner at the very top and looking at the code, what I also like about this, I use this in my projects in the future, kudos to them is I've never really used the aspect ratio before. I don't know why, I just never really have. And taking a look, I like how they did two things. And this is how I recommend doing these larger pictures. So kudos to them for this. That by default, the aspect ratio, I just use a overall percentage of the height, but this also works really great. I gotta use this on more projects, but the aspect ratio is 16 by nine. And then when it hits, the mobile site, it goes to a three by four. So essentially we're taking that size and adjusting it to a mobile, which I do recommend doing when it comes to a picture because it will affect the overall size difference from a overall vertical design to a overall horizontal design. So really good job of using this aspect ratio to adjust your picture while still keeping things really centered overall across the design. As I come down the page, trending now, I love the different pictures. We have this e-commerce design. The one thing I was kind of thrown off of, and this is what I see a lot of on website designs, is the type for me, and this is just a personal design habit, is it feels like it's about like 10% too small. And I'm gonna break it, because I'm gonna do this like where I make it that much larger. But I feel like, again, if I push to 110%, that type can be still readable, but when I go back to 100, it just feels a tad small on the design. It's not an issue, but I see so many sites like Macy's and Ikea that they have this beautiful design and the type just feels small overall on the page. The pictures will stand out as you roll your mouse over on the desktop and overall make the type just a little bigger. That's what I would just do to kick this one. Uh, this is minimal, but again, if we're gonna make the type bigger, I might make these little dots that show, oh, I was hoping to click on the dots. That didn't work out the right way. I think about overall, if I can click on these dots, which I then can go into this actual item, actually be clickable. So just to kind of figure out if those dots are clickable or not clickable. And again, it is a beta version, so that could be working on the later version. I'm not really quite sure. But as we get into these individual pages, the flow of content is fantastic. I This is where I do like how big the font is. I'm making sure it's not anywhere we've increased or decreased inappropriately. But I like how this is high. We have the H1 looking great. Then we have the H2 right down below. And then we have different description factors with P tags excellent job of the usage of the hierarchical structure of the H's and P's. The one area I also really loved in this design, if I go back to the home page and come down and come down, where was it? This one. This is a textbook, beautiful setup on how to set your structures up. So if we look at this, what I really like about this is the H3 right there, P, and then down below we've got the information and this is a perfect use of the ULLI. Normally, I can almost never find a rational reason to get to the H4, but you nailed this. I really like how you have discover of the H3, the paragraph, and then the H4. And then after the H4 comes the list. And this looks wonderful with the SVG pictures sitting in here. Just textbook, beautiful structure setup. And it just flows so eloquently where it drops down below after the picture, so you have the grid structure moving left to right, up and down. Uh, I'm just, I'm digging this. Like that's really, really super slick and beautiful, both in the HTML side and on the design front side of things going on. 
I had a thought about that, so I want to go back now to the other page. Let's just take that chair, for example. This site structure, when it comes to the text, is really useful. The only thing I was thinking about is I don't know if we want to put the font or the, the color of the type in this red. I think of red as a negative, so I'm not quite sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. That's just because I think about when it comes to finances, red is negative and green or black is positive. So it just didn't think about it. It's not hurting me with the overall design. This could be another color that I'm not seeing somewhere else in the design. See, that one's black. So I think we just somehow that one turned like to that other color. Now I'm trying to figure out if I can find it again or if it's just the chair. Does the, yeah, so this color is black. So I think for some reason, and I just got lucky. I clicked on this, <laughs> the first one I clicked on. That's why I thought I kept seeing this color. So I'm just wondering if we want to just make this one black, unlike the other ones that already are black, as I just described. Minimal, nothing big deal at all. Uh, easy to use, especially when it comes to furniture, shopping, clothing. You have a lot of elements that people have to look at. And I love how the arrows are black and white to really see what to click on overall with this chair and upholstery. I also like how you can click on different colors and it pops right up, just fast loading. Gatsby, you rock overall in this design. And then you can choose things back and forth with ottomans, lounge chairs, and you just have a beautiful design in this approach. And your code's looking really strong. You've got your opacity where this is where I do recommend the opacity be useful. And when I go to mobile, the chair comes up first. I can then use my mouse to kind of slide side by side. This is where I almost would make the buttons a little bit bigger. I just feel like there could be a little better usage in there. If someone didn't know to do this, they might struggle to click on those pieces. Normally I don't recommend centering. If you watched in my previous videos, I'm not a centering fanatic, but this actually does work. There's only enough text here where I don't have to read too much. And if I want to read more, this is where I might get into a problem where this, if I look at this right here and I just take that and I'm going to say text align left to boot it out of the way. I might take this one with the P class. Oh, it's the whole production. Let me just do it this way. Text align left. I might do this because after a while, the read less was looking good when it was centered, but now that was only just three lines. And when I came back to it and I read more, I might drop it down to where it's just left a line. So the high or hey, I'm not quite sure to pronounce that. So I'm sorry if this is the person who did this and I'm mispronouncing this furniture but I would keep this centered and this centered, I would just maybe have this one be left aligned as there's a lot more stuff to read down below. 249 centering area, select upholstery, configurations, just, I wanna use this site. That's the part of a really good design is it is invisible and it makes the user want to use something. I also appreciate the colors where I can know where to click. That's a big thing, especially in the minimal color sheets where I can find the buy sample to click, buy sample to click, and I have these be clickable and I can know they're clickable because the same color as the link is in there. If we go back to the home page, let me go back there for one second. There we go. What I like also about this one is that even though there's not that blue link, when I roll my mouse over it, one, I can click anywhere, and two, it shows me underlines because by default, I might not know I can click until I can see I can click in this arena. Also, what's really good about this is that you've kept the spacing. Again, I'm not super sold on the centering up here. I'll let it go only because it's not that wide of text. But what I do like about this design, this is where I do recommend people also do this on their websites, the pictures can go wide to their full size width, but I like how he came back and the text didn't go so far across the page that it was a little hard to read. This might be stretching it to a, to, let me see if I can find the overall width here. I haven't looked at this one yet. Uh, font size, font, I'm not finding the overall. Let's see if it's probably gonna be inside of the H2 or the rich text module. I'm not finding the actual size of the parent in here, but what I would just be careful on it. Oh, I think we just did it this way. Nope, I'm not finding it. I take it back. I can't find what I'm looking for. Thought I did, but I didn't. 
Uh, nope. Oh, uh, seven grid column. Okay. Yeah, we just used a grid for the two twelfths in this direction. I see where it is. So I might kick it a little bit, uh, just narrower. I don't know. For me, it's a little long when it comes to the actual website where it just reads a little long. I think that's also because the type is a little small. Again, I'm a little pushy on that size of font. It's minimal in this case. But I think if we were to kick the font up, it would still notice how the type gets a little more readable at that 10% bigger size. It's very minimal, but with a larger font, you can get away with a wider overall size because the ratio of size to width is going to be all right in this instance. So again, I feel you're on the border and the cusp of readability only because I just want to see that font be a little bit bigger. And yeah, I'm going to butcher it by just doing command plus and giving it an extra 10%. But notice now the readability kicks in a little bit higher and we barely notice a difference on that overall font. That being said, I like how the font does not go to the edges of the pictures. Good job of keeping it to a certain size in your grid structure. Overall, I'm digging this site. It's great to use. I have not bought anything, one because I don't need a shelf. But that being said, I really want to use the site. And that's the mark of a good site. If I can get around, and I'm really trying to beat this thing up pretty hard, like I'm really trying to find any really good problems I can just sink my teeth into, and this is good. Like this passes uh, with flying colors. So kudos to the developer who built this. This is a strong, beautiful structure site. It's built on Gatsby, and Gatsby is already like one of my favorite tools to use for just speed, and I can see how fast it loads all across the pages. I did see also in your header or your head section that the fonts are preloading. Excellent job. This is a top-notch site. Kudos to hem.com to overbuilt this website.